Hello friend, welcome again to my channel where we dedicate all these videos to you who might be having interest to do things exemplarily using the computer and more so to you who is a candidate preparing for examinations. So most welcome um, the, in this video as I had promised we are going to have the second part so if you did not get to my first video this is a part two of a video that i did for uh, the questions that we are present for the questions that we are presented in the year 2017 computer studies by the kenya national examination council we dealt with question one which was a question based on uh spreadsheet applications so we used microsoft excel to go through this particular question and uh, we were able to get to the end until the place where we were requested to print the work so the question number two of the paper is actually uh, reading like this the management of a county scout, move, a scout movement intends to award certificates of participation to the scouts who attended a fire rescue seminar. Assuming that you have been tasked to, uh, to design the certificates. Roma, uh, part A. Open a desktop publishing program and uh, make the following page settings orientation landscape units centimeters paper size a4 margins two centimeters all around then uh, part b i don't want to come back here uh, because i have got the table uh, the, the paper on my table all right so in case you have not caught where uh, caught up with these papers where you can get them i will leave some links on the description of this uh, video so you can check those links if you want more resources especially adequate uh, revision material uh, so this paper uh, is uh, requesting us we create the certificate as it appears in figure two and design it as certificate so where is uh, figure two yeah here is figure two ooh, ooh. now um so because i am having a paper i will not have to change the direction i don't know whether this one can allow us to rotate this page let's see oh, there's no option of rotation here this version of uh, uh, page 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 rotate view let's see clockwise oh that's good so this is a page we are supposed to create and uh, we are going to we are told to save it as certificate and then also bear in mind those settings that we have been requested to do as we also do uh, this kind of publication so i'm going to have a small area reserved for you to be seeing uh, the kind of artwork that we are supposed to design but just before that i'm now in publisher we are supposed to use a desktop publishing program in this case i'm using i've chosen to use microsoft publisher for this task so orientation guys where we get it is under page design and then orientation change to landscape then another thing that we have been told to do is to to change the units to centimeters so to change units from centimeters to inches to points you go to file then there is uh, uh, options and then we have got uh, uh, what what advanced options yes and then show measurements show measurements show measurements in the units of in this case we have centimeters pickers points pixels but the examiner wants centimeters there we are okay so already done so far then uh, paper size is a four under page design again paper size what paper size a4 right right now we are using letter 
paper size, but I want A4 landscape, correct? Then margins, two centimeters or around, two centimeters or around. So do we have an option for that? 1.27, bra, 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 we don't have it. So simply I choose custom margins, custom margins, and then I highlight uh, everything that is included in the box for left, type two. I highlight everything included in the box for right, two, 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 two centimeters or around. Okay, so now we go to the actual design, actual design. So why I had said that I'm going to squeeze to allow you to see the publication on the right, had le your left hand side, um, as I work on the right hand side, unfortunately, it may not be very workable. Is it going to work well? Let's see. Let us see. I want it may not be viewable as such, but at least it's good to have a small image here of the thing that we are intending to achieve at the end of the design. So that's the thing that the examiner has presented this year for us to design. But you have the paper. I, I trust that you can make an effort to get the paper. Uh, so I'm going to try to be as brief as possible without so much explanations. And uh, let me just wide and maximize the whole window uh, so that I can also be able to work comfortably as you will also be having you a chance to work comfortably so that I can be able to zoom in, zoom out and enjoy the whole screen. So now that you have a preview of what we intend to design, what do we begin with? I'll start with the thing that will look like a plus, a symbol the border that looks like a plus. So under insert, I go to shapes and then I choose the plus symbol. Somebody to guide me where we have got the plus symbol. There's one, the plus symbol, which is also called the cross. I don't know why they decided to call it the cross. Does the cross look like this? No, does not. Okay, then manipulation handle helps us to reduce these corners and uh, so on. So I'm manipulating to remove these corners that we have, the corners that we have to reduce the corner to such a level, right? Then uh, before I continue, I can remove the fill color. I can remove the fill color. So I say no fill. Remember it's an encross shape. So I need to remove the fill color. The thickness of the borders it's also a bit thicker as uh, I believe you have uh, tried to print with varied types of thicknesses or different weights of borders and I would recommend in this exercise we use we can use two and a quarter points two and a quarter points that's a little bit thicker then uh, under insert again we have got the other thing that is being used to form the border and that is a rounded uh, rectangle, a rounded corners rectangle. So that is where it is at, uh -huh. yeah, it is inside and there it is passing there and uh, okay. So let's see how it should be organized. Mm -hmm. Trying to reorganize things here. Uh, this is DTP. It's about art. Being able to to see what is presented and be able to implement it as you see it. Eh? So that way. Now I have got the borders. I've got the borders, isn't it? I've got the borders and. Um, then uh, certificate of participation, Partic uh, certificate of participation. So let me just show you how it is like, how the organization there is. Uh, certificate of participation is like that, two lines, and then certificate on the side and participation on the other side, and then the word off in the middle. Okay, so we go to publisher. 
and uh, now I want I am thinking what is the best method to use uh, personally I will use a funny way I'll draw a straight line across two parallel lines across and uh, that is one beginning here all the way across to there we are not told to measure accurately so you need not bother about measuring unless you are told and then i have copy pasted the line so control dragging control dragging something that you have already designed will reproduce the item so control drag again will reproduce the line once more so i just needed the two lines and then in the middle here i want to insert a large text box i want to insert a large text box here in the middle here in the middle I insert a large text box there. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. I want to see it. There it is. And then I type in it the word off. All right? The word off in small letters. And highlight it. Of course, it's in italics. Who can guess the font? The font I will use Times New Roman. And then I make the text to grow. When text is highlighted, then pressing control greater than, you know, closing, not greater than, but the square closing bracket, the square closing bracket will make your text to grow. Will make your text to grow. This text is not only italics, but also bolded. It's also bolded and then another thing i want to do is to centralize the text completely so i am in a text box and i have gone to text box tools and then under text box i can click center align then another thing i want to format the shape by filling it with color white uh -huh. so that's my weird way of removing or creating the gap that we have in between the lines right so what about certificate? It is simple text. Some people may struggle inserting a word art and then they are not able to format the word art and all that. So simple text. And on this word side, we have got certificate, certificate, certificate. And then I highlight and then I enlarge and then the font size, I mean the font is still times new roman and then uh, bolded and then i enlarge a bit to a level where i feel like uh, it is large enough i feel like it is large enough uh, what do you feel do you feel like it is large enough <laughs> uh, okay so if you feel like me then it is large enough okay so i'm trying now to balance as part the paper to see whether I have designed it perfectly. Again, I have said control drag will reproduce an object. Control drag will reproduce an, an object. So I have reproduced this text box for me to have the word participation. I told you there are children out here. Nuisance. <laughs> Children sometimes can become a, a nuisance, but they are gifts, a great gift from God. Good. You see that? Uh, participation. Ooh, ooh, something is hiding, isn't it? Something is hiding at the bottom here. So I have enlarged the height of the text box so that P, the drop down side of P, is not cut off. All right, then insert once again. Uh, once again, we use draw, uh, 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 a text box once more. And then a worded to. A worded to. A worded to colon. Once more, enlarge the font, bold. Control B does bolding. And then font is Times New Roman. And then we enlarge a little bit. Uh, control. Uh, closing square bracket don't forget that control closing square bracket control closing square bracket okay so that is it and then down here we've got a line and i can just reproduce the lines that i had on top here control drag control drag the line 
it will be a little bit just slightly larger slightly larger than the other lines up there so i drag a horizontally to just make it slightly larger slightly larger just a bit just a bit prolonging just a bit just a bit i uh -huh. okay then after that we have got for phenomenal participation on so i'll simply drag drop this uh, text box so that i reproduce it and then holding control with the one sizing handle and uh, in this case i was holding this one the middle vertical sizing handle we will widen both ways so that i can now come and change this text as uh, for the phenomenal for the phenomenal for the phenomenal participation participation on for the phenomenal participation on and then this text is slightly smaller than the text awarded to right uh, just a little smaller a little bit smaller we are not told which which size so you just look at uh, the area which you are having and then you can be able to predict whether you are doing it right or not okay now fire emergency rescue that's a word at. we may not evade word at there we may not avoid word at fire fire emergency emergency rescue rescue fire emergency rescue the font is not aerial but it is something like still close to times new roman so let me just instead of taking too much time trying to guess which font i will use times in roman and then i i think it's still the one uh fire emergency rescue fire emergency rescue fire emergency rescue the border is not this color it is color uh, so we are in shape outline you, you know at the word at tools we have got shape outline and then we make it black okay shape outline shape effects there's no shadow you can see mine if i zoom in are you able to see shadow yes there are shadows so to remove shadow again and uh word at, and then uh shape effects shadow no shadow shadow no shadow shadow no shadow right ah some of this becomes good alliteration uh is that what our teacher said about alliteration things that uh, do what uh that one is for you now to think about uh, alliteration i finished my education long time ago right so i'm thinking of uh, copy pasting uh oh i have highlighted two items together so don't worry i just want to reproduce the line you either draw it or you reproduce one existing line then this one is a little bit smaller so probably up to there and then this other side likewise and uh, as we are dragging the line you may find that the lines may become uh, a little bit uh, uh what diagonal so there is a way of avoiding that i will get, do another another video once upon a time i'll do another video there is something that is moving which i did not intend for it to move but no worry uh this one it has moved the this border has moved but i did not intend for it to move i i simply wanted to create some more room here because i've got two items remaining this is one is for presented to okay yeah why is it copying even other things click outside and then click exactly on what you want and then you drag uh presented to or no presented by rather in capitals presented by the font is not that big so i'm using control opening square bracket control opening square bracket and then 
on this day it also has got a line similar to the one which we have on top there presented by and then we have got on this day this one is on this day on this day right on this day so that space is sufficient then uh, guys we have got some drawings uh, we have got some two stars two stars two stars which are under insert shapes then how many points mm, one two three four five six seven eight nine so around 16 i believe should be a 16 point star 16 point star and crossing and closing a five point star a 16 point star and closing a five point star so a five point star inside and then a 16 point star outside so we try to balance the five point star is filled with the color white so shape fill drawing tools are active shape format and then color white for shape fill it appears like it has got a border so i will not remove its border or the outline color then uh, this one shape fill it is a pattern it is using a pattern so i'm waiting for patterns and then the pattern that i am able to trace there is like um, something close to this something close to that and then black color for the foreground and then uh, white color for the background so that way now yes that's how it looks like the star is the internal star is a little larger than how i have made mine to be so i'm holding control and shift together as i drag one point likewise then closing star appears to be a little larger than what i have drawn then we select these two shapes together click on the first shape hold shift click on the second shape you can do what you can uh, go to drawing tools and then under shape format you can group them so that i can now copy ctrl c and then paste ctrl v and then i reproduce the same start to the next side to the opposite side right so that's what uh, has been done at the bottom there then guys there is also a candle a candle here which is created by use of um, a rectangle but a rectangle a thin rectangle like that vertical a thin rectangle actually it's crossing over here mm, let's drag it down a bit and it is filled with the pattern shape fill fill it with the pattern and then after fill it with a pattern which pattern is suitable okay so because of printout sometimes the pattern may not be very clear i'm trying to look at these patterns and get the best pattern and uh it's not very very clear which pattern but of course it's one of these it's one of these so you just pick a pattern and uh, then you format it i'll choose color black for background and color white for foreground or vice versa okay there is the candle and then what uh, is forming the frame is this the scribble so insert under insert shapes let me choose scribble which i have already done and then the scribble will allow me now to trace how the frame should go the frame goes this way the frame goes that way and then comes that way that way that way that way that's how the frame is gonna be so if they wanted us to fill it with some color we could have shown uh, them that we can be able to fill it with some color but at this time white color is sufficient and then the shape outline is thicker than the one which we have selected so let me choose two and a quarter uh, as the outline guys isn't our work done so only this this rounded corner border which appears like it is uh, slightly above uh, so i want to balance things i look at everything and uh, if the things are perfect 
if the things are perfect, uh, then I have done the exercise as simple as that. So this is the original. This is what we were supposed to do. Um, on my printout, there's no uh, this shading that we have behind fire emergency rescue. It is not appearing on my printout. But just in case it was there on the paper, so what you could have done is just simply to draw a rectangle. So there is on the on the screen I have seen like there is a a, a faintly looking rectangle at the background of fire emergency rescue. So I draw a rectangle to overlap this text there. Okay, then having done so. Fill it with some shading because it looks like it is having some shading, light shading. Okay, so that's a pattern once again. So we go to shape fill and then uh, pattern and then uh, after pattern we can choose this pattern and then I just choose foreground to be a light grey color. A light grey color like the one I have chosen and the other color is white background to be white then outline is a no but do you notice that we are obstructing or we have obscured the text that is behind there no worry about that and the drawing tools shape format we have got send to backward tool you drop down with the small arrow you can choose to send an object to back you can choose to send an object to back guys that exercise is done a very nice exercise because that one I'm guaranteed. Why should they not give me 60 uh, instead of even 50? So, but don't forget this very, very important part. We were told to save our work as what? As certificate. We were told to save our work as certificate. I am clicking on the save icon and then choose save as and then browse and then I go to my desktop in question one i created a folder with my index number 10 to 2 to bra 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 this one it has got the other task that i had done uh in excel this one is requiring me to save the file as certificate 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 okay and then finally now when we shall be told our work is over time is over we shall be required to print so how do we go about printing in publisher simple file and then print choose the printer can you respond quickly you mr printer file print and then choose the printer depending on which printer you want to use choose it and then after that you click on print you click on print so that is how you could have gone through this exercise and i believe it has been enjoyable to handle such a simple exercise together like that a very enjoyable exercise indeed guys that brings us to the end of this paper 2017 and in case you would like to see other papers, 2018, 2019, 2020, and other papers which we shall keep on adding, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Remember to share videos. Remember to like the videos. Remember to comment and also tell others about our, our YouTube channel. Once again, God bless you. Till we meet again, stay safe and blessed. Thank you.